over these past 18 years, the Donner Prize has become Canada's premier prize for books that focus on critical, challenging, and controversial issues in Canadian public policy. Current and former politicians from all levels of government were among the dignitaries who joined hundreds of guests for the Donner Canadian Foundation's annual gala in Toronto. The Donner Prize was established in 1998 to recognize and reward excellence and innovation in public policy writing by Canadians. It's a very huge honor to be recognized, especially by the Donner Foundation, which is one of the most prestigious foundations in Canada. CPAC spoke with the authors shortlisted for the 2015 Donner Prize. It's a tremendous honor and a great, a great thrill. I, I'm a first-time author and I never thought this would happen, so I'm on cloud nine tonight. China has to be a priority for government, but it also has to be a priority for Canadians. Canada's former ambassador to China, David Mulroney, for his book, Middle Power, Middle Kingdom. It explores why the rise of China matters to Canadians. What I hope readers take away from the book is that we're entering a new world, that increasingly how we manage our international relations, how we manage our relationship with a country like China is crucial to our prosperity and to our security. We must learn to listen to Aboriginal people and trust them to control their future. Greg Polzer and Ken S. Coates, both with the University of Saskatchewan, co-authored From Treaty Peoples to Treaty Nation. When Greg and I were started writing this book, we wanted a very, a very simple objective. How can we give Canadians suggestions on how we can make major improvements in the quality of life for Indigenous people? Can we create reconciliation, can create real partnership in this country? Donald J. Savoie has been shortlisted for the Donner Prize on three previous occasions. But my book is, what is government good at? And I try to answer that question because I, I think over the past 30 years or so, we've asked some pretty fundamental questions about government, whether it can do what we expect it to do. So I explore that very question. We must rethink the future of water. Mark de Villiers is the author of Back to the Well, Rethinking the Future of Water. De Villiers is a previous winner of the Governor General's Award for Nonfiction for an earlier book published in 1999. My book is about the state of the world's water, which the conventional wisdom has is, in, is in, in dire condition, and to some degree that's true, but it's dire but not catastrophic, and I think it can be fixed, and that's my book's point, main point. Leading research universities in a competitive world, published in both English and French, was co-written by Robert Lacroix and Louis Maheu, both professors at Université de Montréal. I think that people should uh, remember how important those universities are for the future of a society and for the well-being, the actual current well-being of a society, because we all depend about knowledge, and that's what research universities are doing. I think that is uh, a very important, but they are also to see how fragile those institutions are. We try to understand why the distribution of world-class university is so inequal among industrial countries. So it's not, it's quite important, you know, because this inequality may generate other inequalities in economic development, in wealth, and in the standard of living of the population. There is no expiry date on intelligent policy analysis. The Honourable Anne McClellan, former Deputy Prime Minister of Canada and longtime Donner Prize jury member and chair, sums up why these five books made it to the shortlist. First of all, good, rigorous analysis of an important public policy subject, something that right now should be on the minds of our governments at whatever level and on the minds of engaged Canadians. The Honourable Peter Harder, government representative of the Senate, is also a member of the jury. There are five of us, and we have the opportunity to review a wide range of books uh, and inform each other of our views, and then come to a collective discussion of uh, a final list, uh, ultimately uh, leading to the, the selections that are being presented tonight, including the winner. Ladies and gentlemen... I want to announce the winner of the Donner Prize for 2015-16, and it's by 
Donald J. Savoy. What is the government good at? We caught up with Savoy, who is a Canada Research Chair in Public Administration and Governance, as well as a professor at the University of Moncton. Congratulations. How does it feel to win? Well, thank you very much. It feels very good, really, because the other four books are very solid. There are strong books, and I, I didn't expect to win, but there you are. Uh, I'm sure the jury members had a tough time. The winner receives a check for $50,000. The hope is that this recognition will not only bring attention to the topics that they've highlighted, but will encourage more Canadians to explore and debate important public policy issues. Reporting from Toronto, Ontario, for CPAC, I'm Heather Seaman.